Hello, welcome to the new how-to videos. Today we're looking at how to maintain a discus. So first the tools for the job. We need an old discus. This one has been provided to us courtesy of our friends at Plymouth Athletics Club, so thank you very much to them. We then need a scourer. This is the kind of scourer you can buy at the supermarket or in a hardware shop. Just be very careful that it's the type with no soap. because you, you may also need some very fine grade sandpaper depending on the level of maintenance required on your discus. But if you, you will also need two Allen keys, just very normal. Each discus has a slightly different diameter of Allen key, so you'll need to just try out which ones work on your discus. You then want a little light machine oil and a dry cloth to apply it with. And we've got some furniture polish and another dry cloth to apply that with. So, the first thing to do with your discus is to take it apart. So for that, we put one Allen key in either side of the bolt hole in the centre and simply unscrew. Now you may find that if your discus has never been taken apart before that it's going to be a lot tighter than this one to unscrew so you just need to unclick that first element um, and it might need a bit of strength to do and then you will find that your discus comes apart and these are the pieces of the discus and um, you can then unscrew this centre block and we're ready for cleaning. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get our scour cloth and we'll attend to the rim. Now most of the discus's weight is in the rim. On a, this is a low spin discus so it has a relatively large central weight as well um, but a higher spin discus has the vast majority of the weight in the rim so you'll find that the rim is even heavier with a much smaller central bolt. Um, that's just a matter of interest. So you're just using your scourer pad and you're very gently, not too much um, pressure, just going round your discus, rim, and getting all of the weight out. You can feel it with your fingers as you're going by. And if there are some really rough areas, that's where you want to be reaching for your sandpaper. So I've got a slightly rougher area here, which isn't coming clear with the scourer cloth. You can just hear that catching. So I've got my light grade sandpaper and I'm just going to give it a very, very light rub to get rid of that catch. This is probably where it's hit a stone when landing and it's just taken a little ding out of the side of the plate. So just feeling it round with your hand to check that it feels reasonably smooth. Okay, and you want to just give it a quick brush down with a clean cloth just to remove the dirt from that rim. Now we're going to come to the plates. We're going to again use the cloth and we're just going to remove the dirt that's built up inside the discus and on the side plates. If you have some areas which are a bit rougher on the plate, you can again use your scourer just to attend to those areas. And obviously if any of your side plates are cracked, then you need to be replacing them. Um, and I'll show you how to do that um, in a moment. So on the centre point, we're just gonna lightly take the dirt off that surface. So now we're going to oil the discus and put it back together again. So we have a very light, light machine oil. We just want a little pad paper a small amount of oil and we're just going to oil this centerpiece we haven't cleaned it off but we're just going to oil it to prevent any further rusting and you'll see that some of the rust comes off whilst oiling it um, and we're just putting a light coating of oil over the surface which will protect that surface from corrosion once you've oiled your centre weight, we can be ready to put the discus back together again. So you put your plate, side plate on the discus, 
put one of the bolts through the side plate, turning it over. You then put your oiled weight onto the bolt. It doesn't need to be tight. So we'll tighten it in a moment. The second side plate goes on, bolt in, loosely. Allen keys and the second Allen key in the back to provide some tension. And we want to tighten that up. Now, now that you have broken the manufacturer's seal on this, there is a chance that this may loosen over time. So it is good practice after you've maintained a discus to check them periodically, maybe every month for two Allen keys that this centre is really nice and firmly tight in. Then what we can do is get a very small amount of our machine oil again. Now we obviously do not want this discus to be oily for when we're throwing it or it's going to slip out of your fingers. The purpose of putting this oil on is purely to protect the metal of the discus rim. You can see where you've been because it slightly darkens. So you're putting a very small amount on and it's recommended that you do this after you've used the discus or if you're doing a maintenance session like this you're then waiting until the next couple of days before you're using your discus to allow that oil all the time to soak in because you do not want to be getting any on your hands so that has just picked up the edge of that discus and you can see it has a soft sheen on it Pop a little bit on the center as well again just to protect it very small amount of oil that's then just going to protect those metal parts. Now there is a school of thought which suggests that if you polish the upper surface of the discus with a standard furniture polish then it improves the aerodynamic lift of the discus. So you want to choose your upper surface so because this one has got the stickers on this side, I'm going to choose the smoother side for this. And you literally just want a tiny little bit of polish onto the surface. And then you're rubbing it on with a clean duster. Only onto one side. Again, do not do this immediately before throwing the implement. It has got to be sat for a moment in order to get the oil off before you're using the discus or it will slip from there we go. And there we have one clean maintained discus that is then ready to be reused.